honourable colleagues, I rise today to speak a few words about my colleague, Senator Jane Cordy, whose work and advocacy I have long admired. As has been mentioned, she was appointed in 2000, only the third woman from Nova Scotia. Senator Cordy's capacity to teach and lead by example is admirable. When I first arrived in the Senate, she was able to answer questions that I didn't even know I had. It is easy to imagine that she was a very engaged and inspiring teacher. When she attended an event that I hosted in Nova Scotia last year, I was able to witness her connection with former students who shared special memories of their time together with such warmth and affection. While many of our colleagues have already talked about Senator Cordy's leadership, her leadership of the PSG, her work on committees, her interventions on too many files to even mention here, I want to bring some of her lesser known work to you today, outside of her impressive leadership. Did you know, well yes you do know now because of her speech, if you were listening, <laughs> she's been an advocate for the sickle cell community in Nova Scotia and across this country for many years and that work is so very special. Senator Cordy has been instrumental in advocacy for more awareness about sickle cell anemia. Senator, Senator Cordy identified an underserved community and used her position, used her position as a senator to advocate for them and with them. And I sincerely thank you on behalf of all of them. I also witnessed Senator Cordy's deep compassion when we were visiting federal prisons during the fact-finding trips for our Ritter study of prisoners' rights. While the visits to the prisons were a shock for most of our committee members, I think Senator Payton and I were the only ones who'd been to prisons before. <laughs> I will always remember Senator Cordy's sensitivity, compassion, care, and love that she shared with the people that we were meeting with. She sees humanity in everyone, everywhere. To say that I will miss her, to, I will miss her wisdom, her kindness, her allyship, and her support is an understatement. Senator Cordy, also known as Lady Jane, in our group, I wish you the very best as you move on to your next chapter.